What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a very interesting transfer news report. Many various news outlets are reporting that Hakim Ziyech has emerged as one of the Jurgen Klopp targets after the Nabil Fakir deal has stalled. The Nabil Fakir deal could still happen after the World Cup but Jurgen Klopp is looking at other options and one of the options is Hakim Ziyech, the Morocco international who played a very good World Cup and he is a 25 year old the number 10 who plays for Ajax and his agent Mustafa Nakhil was believed to have been on Merseyside as uh, you know talking to Liverpool and his representatives about the potential deal and uh, his coach his Ajax coach Eric Ten Hag has provided an update on the 25 year old future and this is what he had to say he said I know he already has another deal elsewhere He's a big loss. If you love football, you will love uh, Hakim Ziyech. Aside from his technical abilities, it's his footballing intelligence that makes him so strong. So my question, is that deal with Liverpool or somebody else? Other clubs are linked with him, Everton and Roma as well, but he would be available for as little as 15 million pounds, which I think would be an absolute bargain for a player who could really really be a very very good option from the bench and he's the kind of player that uh, Jurgen Klopp could develop and he could improve um, leaps and bounds, come up leaps and bounds on the Jurgen Klopp and also I think he's a p player who is not a superstar already and who would be fine to be sitting on the bench. I'm, I'm hearing uh, from uh, some various Liverpool fans that if we sign Shakiri, would he be happy to g just be sitting on the bench uh, sometimes and maybe he would be, be a trouble around the squad but uh, with a player like Hakim Ziyech I don't think that would be a problem because he's a really humble down to earth player and I think he would be just so so happy to play for such a huge club as Liverpool so I think he would be more happy to be sitting on the bench than someone like Shadan Shakiri. and for 50 million pounds I think that's no it's a no-brainer to sign him he's ready he's available his coach just confirmed that uh, he already might have a deal with, with Liverpool or another club. We, we are not sure yet because the, the, the Ajax coach didn't specifically mention which club Hakim Ziyech has a deal with. But he also had to say about this player. He also has the ability to run a lot. All this makes him a special player. It's clear that I would have liked to keep him at Ajax. I think I could have, I still could have taught him something. He's all, he also said he's a complete player, but I, if I have to mention a characteristic in, possible, in particular, it's his ability in one-on-ones. Often you can't get past him, he has raw power. Brilliant, I'm just so excited about this because he, this is the kind of player that Liverpool want. He can play in a number of positions at Liverpool. He can play as a number 10 behind the striker, who can play as an attacking midfielder instead of somebody like Vina Doom or Lalana. He can play maybe on the wing as well if it's needed, but he's not an out and out winger. And his Ajax coach is wondering, will he maintain his performances abroad? If you are the best in the Netherlands, I don't think he will have many problems. So the Ajax manager, Ajax coach saying that Hakim Ziyech was one of the best players in the Eredivisie and I've seen, I have heard uh, quite a lot of good things about him. He has he's been making waves uh, at Ajax. Uh, so in this video we will take an in-depth look at what he could bring to Liverpool, his career so far and whether he's worth uh, the money and also would he be a good enough option off the bench for Liverpool. So stay tuned, leave a like on this video if you enjoy these transfer news updates and subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you know don't miss a future video. So Hakim Ziyech was actually born in the Netherlands in uh, 1993 so he's 25 years old so he's not a very young player now he's I think coming into the peak of his career so the next five years will be probably the best years in Hakim Ziyech's career so this is a, probably the perfect time 
to sign him. So he's 180 centimeters tall, that's 5 foot 11, and he's wearing the famous number 10 shirt. He started out his career in 2012-2013 at Heerenveen, where he had his breakthrough season the next season, where he scored 11 goals in 36 games. And just one season after that, so he only had two seasons at Heerenveen, he signed for Twente, where he put up really, really good numbers. He scored 34 goals in 76 games for Twente. That's roughly one goal every two games. Yes, I know it's the Eredivisie, it's not the best league in the world, but that's still impressive for, uh, at the time, 21-year-old player. So he played uh, two seasons at Twente and then he went to Ajax, where also he put up great numbers. He scored 10 and 9 goals from midfield at Ajax, because at Ajax he wasn't playing as a striker, as an out-and-out attacker. And uh, in the Morocco squad, listen to this, he has 9 goals in 21 games for Morocco, which is brilliant numbers. I mean, that's two, one goal every two games. Even a striker would be proud of that record. And listen to this, so Ziyech is one of the most versatile players that Liverpool could sign because this season that just finished he played as a centre midfielder, as a right and left winger, as a right and left wing back and also left midfield. By trade, he is a center midfielder, as I said, he's number 10 center attacking midfielder, but he can play on the right wing, on the left wing, he can play as a number 10, as a number 8, a box-to-box -box midfielder, but mm, Liverpool don't play with 5 at the back, but in uh, some games maybe we will free switch to that, that formation and then he could play right full back or left full back, right wing back or left wing back, if we play with 3 at the back, and uh, and two uh, out and out uh, like wing backs, but Liverpool do, Liverpool don't really play a lot of that uh, formation. But uh, Ziyech's main strengths lie with his passing and his dribbling ability. He picked up. 15 assists in the Eredivisie and also he scored 9 goals in total for Ajax. So those are very very good numbers. That's 24 goals and assists in one season, which is really impressive in 39 games. He was basically involved in a goal or an assist every two games that he played for Ajax. So Hakim Ziyech uh, uh, had uh, 4.2 key passes per game, which is the best in the whole Dutch league, which is very, very impressive. And also he made uh, three and a half successful dribbles per game, which is also a very, very high number. That's the kind of number that you see from uh, one of some of the best wingers in a league. I'm really, really hoping that Liverpool can pick him up for 50 million pounds because I think he would be a bargain. Hakim Ziyech is enjoying picking up the ball in midfield and bursting out on the wings or cutting inside or wriggling his way past defenders. He is very good at one-on-ones and he can get past a defender with ease. He has great agility, balance, dribbling, as I already said, three and a half successful dribbles per game. So he could be a player who could come on in the last 10, 20 or 30 minutes where Liverpool need a goal and he could change the game and he could come up as a, either a replacement for Salah or Mane or he could come up and play behind them in midfield and just cause, cause havoc, pick up the ball in midfield and get past the tiring midfielders and defenders and create space for others as well. And he, he's also very good at uh, creating space for himself uh, in, a, in the pockets behind the, the striker and uh, in and around the wing. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think that Liverpool should pick him up for uh, for 50 million pounds i don't think it's a big risk to take and we need to be ready and uh, and quick with this transfer because other clubs are lurking around him and i think he had a very good world cup i watched the, the morocco games morocco were so unlucky to lose uh, their first two games when they actually played better than iran and they actually played better than Portugal as well, but they just couldn't score a goal because of they, they missed all their chances. And Hakim Ziyech was a really lively player. In, in, uh, against Portugal, he was, I think, 
the best player of Morocco. He had really, really good dribbles and he was unlock unlucky not to score or not to get an assist. So I think we should pick him up because uh, if a player can perform on the world's biggest stage at the World Cup, I'm sure that he can perform for Liverpool as well and he's already 25 years old so he wouldn't need a lot of time to settle in because he already knows what it's all about he has been playing at a big club in Ajax he knows what uh, the expectations are at a, at a huge club in this video I also wanted to take a look at Divock Origi and wh whether Liverpool should keep him or not and I think I'm leaning towards keeping Divock Origi because uh, if we sell him for like 10 or 50 million pounds people we would probably need to spend 20 25 million pounds just to replace him with an equally good player Divock Origi is only 23 years old so I think he has a lot of uh, years ahead of him and he is still a good talent but uh, there were some mitigating circumstances whether why he couldn't perform at the, the top of his game at Wolfsburg because at Liverpool he was al always the third or fourth choice uh, best uh, top goal scorer in the club he actually finished with 10 and 11 goals in each of the, his two seasons, two full seasons at Liverpool but when he went to both Wolfsburg he already got he only got uh, seven goals and three assists in, in Wolfsburg shirt but he actually had a lot of uh, managers they he had Jonker, Martin Schmidt and Bruno Labbadia three Wolfsburg managers in one season that's absolutely crazy and imagine the, how many different formations, how many different tactical setups he had to go through Origi needs a team and a settled side where he knows exactly what his role is and sometimes he was played as a number, time, number 9, sometimes he was played on the wing, sometimes he didn't even start and was on the bench so there is no surprise really that Divock Origi couldn't really score 10 to 15 goals in a pretty poor Wolfsburg side they finished third from bottom in the Bundesliga, almost got relegated, only, only didn't get relegated because the the top two, the bottom two teams go down in the Bundesliga and the bottom third team from bottom has to play a playoff final against the team who finished third in the Bundesliga 2 and Wolfsburg won that game against Kiel who has a fraction of the budget that Wolfsburg had so I think Wolfsburg got very lucky that they stayed in the Bundesliga so the, my point is that Wolfsburg had a poor season and Origi couldn't shine really in this poor team with many many different managers many different tactical setups philosophies uh, you know tactical ideas and uh, I think we should bring him back to Liverpool give him a good preseason let's see how he does in preseason and if he does well and if he scores a couple of goals in preseason and works hard I think that he deserves another chance at Liverpool and who knows if um, if, I, if we can bring him on in most of the games for 20-30 minutes and he can score as a substitute and maybe start some games in the League Cup, who knows, he could bag 10-15 to 15 goals and that would be a much much better return than what any of the substitute strikers did at Liverpool, Dennings and Dominic Solanke, you know full well that they scored so few goals between them so we need a better backup striker and Divo Origi might be that so that's my opinion I would keep Origi but what do you think guys let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video see you later guys goodbye